wrote a book about an erased community in St. Louis, a black segregated community in St. Louis. And so a lot of my research happened to be in archives that were part of um, the library system here and, and the archive system here at Wash U. So I've come back on campus many times to do research and to tie that community into the larger St. Louis story. But just knowing uh, more about how the city grew and changed and progressed and, and now I'm writing about it. Washington University play, played a role in the whole urban renewal process of, of St. Louis and so all of that ties in together and just makes the picture clearer. The CAPS program I think is, is really important for People who are older, like I was, I think sometimes you think your life ends with retirement, and I can tell you it doesn't, and that if you have something exciting to do, if you can expand and learn in a program like this where you can fit it into your life, into your schedule, I think growth is probably the most important aspect of life after retirement. The experience, the lived experience of people in uh, these programs is vital. It's very important to, to come in and, and build on those experiences and share your experiences. So it was an ideal situation for me. Learning is, is, is hugely important to me. I, uh, I think it's probably the wisest thing I've done in my life is to continue to be open to grow and to learn and expand. It keeps me sleeping at night. I go to bed tired and I actually sleep. I'd never even touched a computer until my late 40s and I wrote an entire book with these three fingers uh, because when everybody else was in typing class, I was in sewing class, so I never learned to type. I got through graduate school either begging someone to type my papers or um, hunting and pecking. So I think hunting and pecking my way through life has worked for me.